It's swimming around down there. Oh, he's on. Oh, yeah. Well, you never know if they're running away from you. Sometimes they're just swimming around out there all over the place. He's coming up. Yep. It's, big, it's bigger. Is it bigger? <laughs> wow. He's splashing more. I'll give him that. The lines are floating right there, so oh. keep them over this way. There you go. Yep, bigger. He's smaller. I think he's smaller. <laughs> yeah, you him guys! <laughs> nice, nice trout. Now this one looks like he swallowed it pretty good, so I'll show you how to get that hook out. Go in through the gill, right there, grab the shank, and then pop it, turn it over. And, voila, comes yeah. right out. Because those are usually really tough to get out of. Yeah, you yep. mess up the leader, and then you spend 20 minutes re-rigging it. It's just pain in the butt. That's what I usually do. Uh-oh, you got another one. Okay, yep. get it, get it, get it. And that uh, line, there's a bunch of line there. I'll be there to... Want me to let out line? I'll be there to help. Yeah, go ahead. Wow, that was cool. Let me get this line out of the way. This or, one's in the way, I think. No, no that was up. That one's out of the water. So let's see. This one, go over that one. There you go. Cool. All right. Reel them up. Go out to the bow. Well, I guess the pontoon boat doesn't technically have a bow, but <laughs> go out there. Yeah, this one's fighting. Look, oh, he's dang near on shore over there. Look at that. Yeah, that one was in real shallow water. Off. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll step over here. Maybe. Now he'll go over there. So now I'm over here. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Oh, that is a nice fish. Tangled up in something? Tangled up in the line? I don't know. He's, a, he's definitely the fish of the day, I think. Just stay there. Bring that tip over here, this one. Wow. It's a big fish when I can't get my giant hand around him. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's a nice fish. Look at the sun glinting off that rainbow trout. Yep. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful. <laughs> uh, Look at that one. That's a nice fish. Woo! Collins Lake, baby. Look at that. That is a stud. Howdy, guys. Kel Kellogg here. This is another installment of Fishing Guide Life. I'm here at my camp at Collins Lake. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Lucy's had her breakfast. She's sleeping down there on her bed. Um, I've been down to the boat. Boat's all prepped and ready to go. I'm waiting for my clients to uh, to show up. But this is the kind of stuff we do in camp. You know, the kind of stuff you don't see when you go on a guided trip. I'm sitting here and I'm tying up power bait leaders. I'm going to show you how I tie a power bait leader. And they're a little bit different than, than the, the power bait leaders other guys use. Um, here's, my, here's my raw material. Yozuri Hybrid. 10 pound test fluorocarbon. I'm catching some very large fish here. We had a 10, probably 10 and a half, maybe 11 pounder yesterday. It was a large fish. Um, so I'm not using two pound test or four pound test on my leader. In my opinion, if you're using uh, leader material that light when you're fishing power bait or any other kind of bait for trout, you're setting yourself up for failure if you hook a big fish. Now you may land a big fish on that light line. I've landed them on light line like that, but we are trying to set the stage for success. The water's staying, the fish are large. So I am going with the 10 pound test. If the water was ultra clear, I might go down to eight or even six, but that's about as low as I'm gonna go. The 10 is working great, so why go lighter? Most of my rods are rigged up with 15 pound braid. So I have a very capable rig when we hook a big fish. We're also fishing in shallow water, and uh, we have gotten some fish hung up on stumps, and so far, not knock on formica or whatever that little table of Wes's is made out of, we've been able to shake all of those fish loose, and you're not going to do that if you're running with a, with a four-pound test leader. So enough said about that, 10-pound fluorocarbon. Um, I have my little leader holder here. That was full of leaders about three days ago, so I got a little bit of work to do this morning. So that's where I'm going to put the finished leaders. And right here, I've got a bunch of Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Number 8 Octopus hooks. And that hook looks 
just like this. Now, that's another way that my leaders deviate from the leaders that a lot of guys run. A lot of guys run with small, tiny, actually, treble hooks. And uh, I've never used treble hooks with power bait. I've been fishing power bait pretty much since day one when it came out on the market. And uh, I always use an octopus hook. If you look at one of those tiny trebles, the gaps on those little individual hook points are very small. They certainly hook fish, and you can land some very large fish on them. And if, if that's your confidence, by all means, go with the treble. But I go with the octopus. When I get that buried in a fish, I've got a lot more holding power with this number eight octopus than I would with a little tiny treble hook. So enough of that. Let's tie some leaders here, or let's tie a leader. I'll show you how I tie my leaders. And uh, last but not least here, I have my Kershaw knife to trim the line because... All my nippers are down on the boat. And uh, yeah, you're going to laugh at me. I'm old and blind. I do wear reading glasses when I'm doing this, especially here in the uh, pop-up where the lighting is not the best. And you young guys out there, you're going to be wearing these soon. I'm 54 now. And uh, when my vision first started to go, I was, I was eating dinner. I was about 40 years old. And I thought to myself, man, my food, it, it, looks, a, it looks a little fuzzy on my fork. <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm wearing these. To do this so take your hook I'm going to use a Palomar knot that line is still attached to that big spool I'm gonna pass my line through the hook eye once just like that I'm gonna pass my line back through the hook eye just like this and guess what I have a doubled line going through the eye of that hook now I'm gonna tie an overhand an overhand loop in that doubled line just like this Pop that out there, go like that, swing the hook through the loop I just formed. You guys know how to tie a Palomar. If you don't, look up one of my videos or somebody else's video on how to tie a Palomar. It's one of the very best freshwater fishing knots ever. Draw that down, wet it just a bit, draw it down nice and even, just like that. Pull the ends tight, a little pressure on the tag end, a little pressure on the main line. Take your knife or your nippers or whatever, trim that tag. I left about an eighth of an inch right there. Now, I run leaders that are about 18 to 20 inches long. So I'm going to pull a little extra line off there like that. I'm going to trim it with the knife. And I have what is, for now, a finished leader. Out on the water, when I get ready to put that on my rod, I will tie a loop in that. But for now... I'm going to take my, my piece of uh, pool floating. I've cut all those notches in it like so. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just, just kind of hook it. Hook it right in there next to this hook. Just like that. Find one of those, find one of those notches right here. And I am just going to wrap that leader on there until I run out of leader material. Just like this. Very simple. And uh, when my clients show up. I will be ready for action. That's what we do in fish camp. We tie leaders. We rig tackle. Um, I got quite a few to go. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm out of here for now. I'll share more of the fishing guide lifestyle with you later on in another video. If you're looking for gear, including my ultralight spinning rods, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com. And if you'd like to join me on the water, you can book a trip there. And uh, we will talk fishing, have a lot of laughs, and catch a lot of fish. We'll be out here at Collins Lake, and it will be a good time for both of us. I'll catch you later, guys. I'm Kel Kellogg. This is Kel Kellogg, and I'm inviting you to join me at Collins Lake aboard the FHS pontoon boat. Look at all these big, beautiful Collins Lake trout we've caught over the past year. The lake level is up, fall trout plants are underway, and I've got a lot of availability for instructional trout fishing trips. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Book your trip today, and we'll be yelling fish on tomorrow.